Welcome to another Minecraft video. So today we're going to start off uh, in the spawner that I spent so long yesterday working on. And I've decided that I don't really want any other mobs apart from slime spawning in here. That's because I'm going to work on a proper uh, mo mob spawner in, uh, you know, at a later date. In fact, the plan is um, in two episodes time, was in this episode and then next one, but I honestly don't know. So, essentially what am I going to do today? Today I'm not going to work on my spawn anymore apart from this, just lighting it up so no more spawn apart from the slimes. I'm then uh, going to do something big and uh, you'll soon see what it is, but it is something that is uh, hopefully going to be impressive. Now let me block this up, of course I didn't take enough cobblestone to do this, me being me, um, there's no need for the signs. So essentially what should happen is uh, the slimes just naturally fall down um, because I checked in the wiki and one way you can make these farms is just by having a, a hole in the middle and uh, the slimes just as they naturally jump around will fall down. Now I don't know how long it will take for them to do that but hopefully uh, not long because if it's, uh, it's in the if it's in the wiki then of course it works but anyway so what are we going to do today then um there's kind of a story to this so essentially what i want to do is make a mob spawner but a mob spawner needs to be quite high up so no other mobs spawn apart from those in your spawner and as you saw before i don't have any scaffolding to work with and the scaffolding for that you need bamboo and to go to the, get bamboo you need to go to the jungle and i've explored for hours and hours to find a jungle and no luck so I I won't see cheated a little but I went on to like a world viewer for my seeds and I found there's a jungle. The closest jungle is a thousand blocks away. Now I don't want to spend every time I want to go to the jungle, like spend time travelling a thousand blocks because it's not even like oh I can go by horse quickly because it is uh one of those oh dear. Okay. Uh, this is uh, far worse than I wanted. It's fine, it's fine, I'll, I'll recover. Okay, good recovery. Uh, but the jungle, there's like loads of trees in the way, etc. I can't just go by horse. I think there might also be uh, uh, an ocean, well, not an ocean, but like a river or two. So essentially, it's a journey I don't really want to make by horse every single time, or even by foot. And so, what's the fastest way of reliably getting to places? Ah, of course, ah, of course, a creeper. Oh, man. Creeper, where are you going? What the hell is he? Don't blow up my staircase. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. There is definitely a space where mobs are spawning, um, but I don't know where. So, essentially, wait. Have I lit up this area? Okay, so here. So, the fastest way to move around. Okay, I'll, I'll severely hope there isn't a creeper. Okay, what's this? The fastest way to move around reliably is, of course, the classic uh, nether, uh, nether train track. This is if you have like a space, a place where you really want to go, and you know you're going to go there quite often, just make a rail track, put uh, another, another portal at the other end, and there you go. And that's because um, every one block travelled in the nether is eight blocks travelled in the overworld. So, what it turns out to be, um, you know, a, uh, a thousand block trip turns into a 200 block trip, which is obviously far more manageable. And especially if I have a train track, you know, quite simple, just hop on the train and go. But now the problem is building a train track in the nether is quite stressful. You need to go up and down. There's lava, there's gas, etc. And so what I want is a fast... Um, Whoa, that is not good. So what I wanted is a fast, reliable method of getting there without having to spend a long time just building a track. So what you can do is you can build on the top of the nether where it's all flat, nothing's going on. Now for that, of course, you need to actually break um, bedrock. Now, one method of breaking bedrock requires a lot of slime. So guess what I'm doing? Yep, need slime. That's why I made the slime farm yesterday. 
I mean, obviously slime is useful for all sorts of things, but with this in mind, I wanted to, uh, I needed slime. Now, okay, this should be good, or good enough. Now, how am I going to get down there? Okay, also my pickaxe is running out, so I better get a new one. Uh, so slime. Now, of course, you know, I actually need to get the slime, so that's why I turned my slime farm, hopefully I'm turning it now into a more efficient slime farm, where I know that I'm getting slimes and only slimes, and enough slimes for me to um, build all the contraptions necessary. Now, let me just check how much slime I have. 38. That should be enough. I need more ender pearls, though. But that should be enough for... Oh, I need more torches. See? Sorry, I think they're here. No. Where did I put them? Oh, it wasn't here. Oh. Yeah. So, I should have enough slime anyway, but I will, uh, you know, craft some stuff and make sure that is the case. But, you know, it's just nice to have a proper slime farm. The mob farm, you know, I can do later. No, no problem with that. And that was actually in the plans. And slime farm, you know, it's just nice to have a proper slime farm. No, no mishaps, no. Well, you know what? I can't really uh, afford to do anything else, really. So I might as well just make a big mob farm. No, I'm going to have a proper mob farm and a proper slime farm. Okay. I can see there's some slime over there. Now, the problem is... No, please don't blow up. Okay, well, if I get rid of this water, they should just fall down. Let me put around some torches as well first. Thankfully, they aren't uh, jumping up and down and being annoying in general. Okay, good. So yeah, this slime farm, it's not the most efficient, but that's just because um, the two two reasons why. Obviously, other mobs are spawning in the actual farm, but they're also spawning outside the actual farm. Just because uh, I didn't light up all the caves around. Now, lighting up all the caves around is a lot of effort. Is it worth it? The effort for slime that I already have, you know, probably enough of? I don't know. I will see. Okay, let me just uh, block this up, and I'll come back to you when I'm okay. ready. So let's see how my slime farm has done. I've been AFKing for a fair while. Oh, careful. Ouch, 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 I don't have food now. Okay. Alright, as you can probably tell, I've actually uh, died because I AFKed in the wrong place. Oh my god, get out of here, man. I actually hate baby zombies with their passion. No, you can die, you can die, you can die. Okay, don't. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I do intensely hate baby zombies. It's because they're so small. They run so fast. And bang! Right when you didn't expect them. Okay. What is this? How many are we going to have? Okay. So I already checked before. Um, my... Uh... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. What is this? I actually am really like wait has my where's my shield I see okay uh, see so yeah, I died and uh, as you can see I'm kind of a bit of a mess but I already checked my uh, um, slime farm before and it was actually working for some reason which I honestly don't know why and it's kind of worrying but at the same time you know it's fine often things don't work out at the beginning and they need to fix them See that, that spider, just because I'm kind of annoyed, so I'm going to use my bane of after all. Nah, nah. Okay, look at you, look at you slow. Bane of after pods does that to spiders. Oh, you can't even. Unlucky. Uh, so yeah, sorry for messing around, let me just uh, see. Okay, let me check. 15 slime, okay. So, I think the problem is, is that the slimes aren't falling down. Now 15, like, I was expecting Philly to get nothing. So obviously, some slimes are spawning in. Uh, no, I want to go up here. So obviously, some slimes are spawning in, which is good, but not at uh, well. They aren't dying as quickly as we want. So let me just check to see if there are slimes or not. Okay. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to set up my uh, system for getting that transportation system to the jungle. So if you remember, I said that I wanted to go to the jungle to get some bamboo initially, um, but also in order to do that, I need to uh, get a rail cart in the nether, and it's easiest if I do it at the roof of the nether because there are no mobs, and also there are actually I think mobs do spawn, but it's just there's no lava and it's far safer up there so I watched a tutorial on this um, so I should be good but first I need to gather a few more resources and then I'll be back. okay so I hope I have uh, enough uh, supplies for me to go and do my thing now this is around about what you need the problem is the method of actually getting into the bedrock roof of the nether requires ender pearls now one is enough but from me testing it, I shouldn't put back my iron for me testing it, um, it's very unreliable, like I went through a stack of testing and yeah, nothing. So I feel like I might need more than one, uh, more than two ender pearls. so I brought a uh, another method as well, which is, uh, I will show you actually, um, if necessary. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the nether, uh, wow, never been here before. And what we're going to do is now we're going to tunnel right up to uh, the build height, or sorry, not build height, the roof of the nether. Now, the roof of the nether is around about, let me actually make it so it's relatively easy for me to access it. So, the roof of the nether is at y equals 156, so we're at 38, so I probably need more ladders, so let me just do that quickly. So, now I have two stacks and one. Now, I could either wait for night time to get some more ender pearls, or I could just go, I think I'm just going to go because I've already delayed enough as it is and uh, let me go into the nether cool alright so oh, okay. hey hello uh, where oh one second sorry um, I nearly fell actually into the lava that would have been a, a very funny start to the episode now okay that's where I'm gonna build my um, tower so I'm going to first build like a nice easy to access tower um, towards um, the roof so as you jump off what you can do is you can put your uh, you can put your ladder in your offhand and I believe yep you can just do this and that means when you once you start no I don't want to do that let me get an axe oh it's I left my axe there that means once you start properly digging up in case you dig up, you dig up into a lava pool uh, you should be fine now see now I'm going to start digging up, I'm going to press both of uh, my uh, mouse keys and I'm just going to step back a little bit just so um, not actually my head isn't going into the lava but the ladder, um, what it does is it blocks fluids so lava and water can't go through the ladder so that means if I dig right up into lava I should be safe so let's just do that then it should be here soon as you can hear there are ghasts and uh, ghasts so if I was just making a normal rail cart now, I'd probably be dead just because of the ghasts, um, which are nasty. And also, by um, by uh, having a rail cart on top, you should have fewer, oh this is really so orientating, you should have fewer zombie pigmen as well, or at least that's the hope. Because something else that's kind of annoying is just zombie pigmen blocking your journey. That was especially difficult when I was transporting villagers oh, in the nether. Okay, so I think we are close. Yep. Oh, here we go. See, as you can see, lava, no biggie. Let me just go up and I blocked it. Nice. And so put that there and continue on our journey. See, if I wasn't, I didn't have uh, my ladders, would be super scared. But of course, in ladders we trust. Here we go. Okay, so yeah, now the way of actually getting into, okay, we're good, we're good, we are at bedrock height. Whoa, is this the, yeah, okay, um, we are at bedrock height. Now bedrock, just like um, in the overworld, at the bottom, doesn't only spawn in at uh, y equals 1 or whatever, it spawns in at um, slightly higher, uh, slightly higher up, and it's opposite in the nether, so it spawns in slightly low down. And what you don't want to be doing 
is um, having to break through two pieces of bedrock to get up to way to the roof rather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now try and find basically I believe this bedrock but one I can actually access. So you can see that bedrock if you see what I'm looking at. I'm looking at block 127. So that is essentially the bedrock that I want to be able to access. So sometimes it takes a fair bit of digging but uh, hopefully wait nope never mind that was uh didn't take too long now i believe this is good hmm now the problem is i don't think this is actually good because i need to have like a block i can actually like next to it i can actually use to access that so nope again all right so once i find this i will uh re okay, so it didn't take that long for searching but i finally found the required block over here now the tactic involved is uh, to essentially what I'm going to do in order to get up there into the roof is put down nope let me switch this so I don't mess around with the ladders put down stone slab take out my ender pearls and try to ender pearl into the slab and then just stand up now what I'm going to do I'm going to actually cut this and I'm going to test it out just to make sure I have the proper technique in creative mode obviously not in this world then I will okay, rejoin. So, as you can see I'm now in my creative world I have placed my slab and my bedrock and I have these just because I'll probably get hungry now what you want to do is you want to end the pearl up you can see I already did some of the mechanics for breaking the bedrock you want to end the pearl up and then you want to like you should be end the pearling onto this block now I don't know why it's not working but if I what I found is if I shift and go up no okay let me just clear around the area above me and then I'll see uh, actually you know what I can do this right here creative cool uh, don't see this yeah you're not allowed to see this because uh, this is secret okay obviously that is for later on in the episode one second oh yeah okay that, that's fine as this put it on the episode when I actually do the mechanics for breaking the bedrock. Now, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back survival and eat. Okay, now if I do this, so you can see kind of what I'm going for. Um, but it's not working. Which is interesting. Can I do this? This and then here. Oh, that's an endomite, I believe. Yep. Okay. Now, the thing is, endomites uh, have been added after I'm um, used. Okay, whoa, whoa, what is this? Okay, they're quite strong. Endomites have been added after I stopped playing Minecraft a while back, so I have no clue what's like, what they're on about, but let me just check. Okay. You know, this is good that... Um, uh, I now know that the tactic doesn't work, otherwise I could have really wasted a lot of time um, in uh, survival in my other world doing this. Now, another tactic I saw is the minecart trick. So what you do, you get in here, and then you get out, and you try to jump into the minecart. Now let me do this in survival, just because uh, you're more realistic. And then what you do is you try to jump out on this block, and then in. Now let me try something if I actually yeah, let me just keep the slab if I do this hmm it seems to have patched that as well I believe so uh, let me try this in survival no okay well, it seems we're going to need to find another method, so just bear with me whilst I search okay, for another so one. Okay, so it just turns out I was being silly. The slab method should still work, so I think I wasn't actually aiming it at the wall, which is what you need to be doing. So if I try this again... Are you serious? It worked in creative. literally worked just now. Wow, that is ridiculous. Actually, the way, the, like, just before, 
I tried it and it worked. Okay. If I just do another one. Anytime soon. Shit, let me not do that. Okay. Alright, well. Hmm, that's interesting. So what it seems you can do is if you go here. Let me try this in survival. If you go into here. And then you end pull up. And you shift and end pull. What? No way. And then I end up pull again. Okay. Alright, so with the amount of end pulls I have, there's literally no room for error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try it out in survival. And then if it doesn't work, I will... Uh, well, I will... Uh, try something else. So I'm just going to my survival world. Now, what is worrying is that I might suffocate. So what I am going to do is... Let me let me make a chest just to be completely safe. I think I can find my way back up. Let me make a, che a, a chest. So I'll probably have to be. A, where's my wood? Oh, it is. Because I do not want to. Sorry, after I spent so long gathering these resources, I don't want to uh, lose it all if something goes wrong. So if I do this, make. Um, Crafting table and then wood. Sorry about this. This is an adventure for me. Okay, I did the same thing I always do. It's an adventure for me as well. Um, because it's nice to just try all these things, these glitches. And I mean, once you see how wacky the way is to break bedrock, oh, you'll be impressed. Ah, uh, one second. No, I need that. I realise now. Oh, okay. So basically, we're going to play it very risky. Very, very risky. I need to have it done the first time around. Let me try and find an alternate way of doing this. Um, just so I don't actually need to properly risk everything doing it. Because it's, it's literally... Oh. <laughs> nah, shall I just go for it? Nah, let's just go for it. Oh. Oh. Oh, hey. Alright, well, fine, okay, well I suppose, uh, oh they're mushrooms, I suppose that's all good. Now what I need to do first of all is I need to uh, set up my nether portal. Now, since I was recording I believe as I had the coordinates out, I should know which coordinate it is that I need to, um, as in which bedrock I need to break. So first of all, uh, nether fortress, uh, nether portal. Two, three, four. Oh, is it four or five? No, it's, it's three here, isn't it? One, two, three. Okay, no, I did it fine. Of course, I can make a wacky nether portal. And perhaps, like, I should. Like, I remember the update where they added in the alternate nether portal shapes. And I thought that was quite cool. Um, it's like a nice update to add. Here we go. So now I can go back home. I can't actually travel back up here because nether portals only, like... If I went into my nether portal at home, I would actually end up in the nether portal down there, which isn't good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find my recording for um, that block I just found. So let me just uh, hold tab. Cool. Now what might be weird is that you would hear um, my voice as well as I play this. I think I think you actually should. Okay, so it didn't take that long for searching, but I've weird. Okay. Okay, one second. Where are my coordinates? Okay. Uh, what isn't useful is I looked at the coordinates for the block next to the block I need to break. So, looking at... So, let me see, looking at block... 45 minus 12 and I am facing towards negative x so I need to take it back one which is a positive x which will mean I need to get 46 minus 12 okay cool 46 minus 12 which is so I'm minus 12 46 nope whoa 
is it this block? Looking at block 46 minus this block, okay. I'm just going to put this block here, just so I can like know which block it is that I want to break. So essentially, the block under here should be where I sanded when I placed my slab. Now, I'm still super happy that I actually got the ender pull good the first time. Because I was properly stressed out, I think, oh, I need to get my endermen, etc, etc. So now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to um, watch the tutorial again, just to make sure I have all the steps clear. Now, whilst I'm actually making this, I might have to pause and cut a few times just to make sure that I'm doing everything correctly. So bear with me. This is um, a new experience for me as well. I've never, ever done this before. I mean, I did, as you saw before, test it in my... Oh, mushrooms. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, I need mushrooms. I didn't know they grew in bedrock. Oh, I suppose they do. Um, so, yeah, essentially... I did, as you saw, test it out on my Creative Worlds, and it works, to the best of my knowledge. And that was like two days ago, so hopefully they didn't patch it, and uh, I need to work on something again. But, either way, uh, let me, I'll see you soon, let me just figure out how to start doing Okay, this. so I watched the first part of the tutorial. So what you want to be doing is, piston, here, nope, here, and then sticky piston, over here. Easy. And then what you want to be doing is you want to make, you need to put down five obsidian here and then five obsidian over there. So let me do that. One, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, and five. Now at this point, of course, you can break this block. So essentially what you are doing now is you are, let me uh, do this. What you're doing is you are breaking the heads of the piston. Now I'll show you how that works or how it's going to happen. But essentially, now what you want to be doing is you want to be placing down repeaters, all in four ticks, and it is very important they are all in four ticks because of timing and stuff. Redstone dust, one, two, three, four, 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 okay. And now you can just put a block here. And now, activate a rail. Now you also need to make a TNT minecart, which I hope is like this. If you actually like if it was any more complicated I might have actually need to go back and then etc etc with the um, uh, nether portal and so on and ender portal uh, you know what I mean okay right activate the rail now what you're going to do now is pick this lever it's going to send a pulse and it's also going to activate the TNT at the same time as soon as the TNT explodes or at the same time the TNT explodes this piston will reach out that way and it will blow off the head as we will now hopefully see now, allegedly, this has um, a low chance of not working. Did it work? It worked. Okay. Now, before you do anything else, you want to put down a redstone block here. Because essentially what happens is, as soon as you do this, the redstone will update. And then it will reset the will reset the um, piston to how it was before with the head. Now, what you want to be doing now, to do this right, good. Again, put down two redstone there. And then... Minecart with TNT. So you see, you see, I bought plenty extra minecarts with TNTs. Put this here. Click. Okay, so that works again. Block of redstone, and good. That is the first step done. Now, because this is the first step that's done, we can simply move this. I bought my diamond pickaxe, which I wasn't too happy about because that is a very nice diamond pickaxe. I mean, look at how fast it mines this obsidian. Usually, that will take 10 15 seconds with a normal diamond pickaxe. Obviously, without, um, if it's not a diamond pickaxe, normal one, it could take longer. So, I think, isn't it like four minutes with by hand? So, like that is ridiculous. Okay, so this stuff now you can get rid of because we're now going to work on the next stage, which I haven't actually watched yet. It was in a half, but I haven't recapped yet. So, um, yeah, see you when I have, when I'm ready. Okay, so the next stage, or one next thing you need to do, redstone here. And now what you want to be doing is taking out your pistons and your sticky pistons. Piston up here. As you can see, it automatically extends. Now, I believe it is a sticky piston, no, a piston, normal piston facing downwards. Let me just double check quickly. It looks that way. Yes, it is. Now, of course, 
that's kind of difficult because you need to be facing down into the block. So what you can do is do one, two, three, four, and then break this to one, and then put down a uh, hmm. So is that that's a normal? Okay, I didn't bring enough normal pistons. It seems like, but that's fine. I can work with what I have. In fact, I can just break. I can, I think, just break this. Let me just do this, and then place in the corner here. Second one. Redstone block on here. Wrong. Redstone block on here. That now extends it directly, exactly where you need it to go. And then you break the redstone block and the piston and the netherrack, and you're all good. Of course, it doesn't have to be netherrack, it can be whatever block you want, as long as it's not like redstone block. And they just mess around with this or TNT block just in case. Uh, just don't be silly about it. Okay, right. Now let me just check on the next step quickly. Okay, so next step. Simply take another rack and then take your slime blocks, put one, two, three, and then stick your piston over here, and then four blocks. One, two, three, ooh, three, and four. Okay. Now, I mean, as you can tell, I'm only doing it step by step because it is kind of complicated. I wouldn't be able to remember all of this flawlessly. I don't want to mess this up. So I'm going to bounce a bit on the slime blocks. <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, let me just rejoin you when I figured out the next okay, step. Okay, so this is the last step, or one of the last steps. Simply take your speeders and your comparators, and you need to put them in this order. So it's comparator, repeater, comparator, repeater, and then repeater, repeater, comparator, comparator. Now what you want to be doing is hooking all of this up. Two, three, four, taking your lever which I, oof, I thought I didn't bring, but that's fine, I mean, whatever. And then, hooking it onto here, and then, power it up. At this point, you want to be removing your two redstone blocks, I believe. Let me just double check, because I don't want to make a mistake at this stage, because that would be very annoying. Yep, uh, so essentially what that does is it moves around all of this malarkey over here. Yep, so you take your two redstone blocks, one and two and then hopefully when you pull this back like so you should have a hole in the bedrock so if I just break this one here ooh, hey <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> so I did it I actually I actually did it that is <laughs> did not expect it to work full like first time so that's the first for a series actually um repeat, like doing something properly the first time and let me just get rid of all of this so as you can see i also bought myself some ladders and uh now i can start building my railway system so like i said i'm going to build a railway into hopefully the jungle now i have yeah i have loads of obsidian wow that is funny i was really nervous it wouldn't ha work it's the right block as well. Oh, I thought it wasn't for a second. No, this is the right block. Yeah, that's a slab. So actually, it worked. It seems perfectly. So can I go down? That's my chest with nothing in it. And then if I go this way, wow. So it actually worked. That is amazing. Okay, so now what I want to be doing, obviously, because this is only the first part of... Um, my episode or the planned episode today i want to now start digging a railway onto uh, into uh my uh, uh the jungle so first of all i need to face north now this is north good of course it's the right it's the direction right towards another portal but whatever and then i just want to start um, putting down rails so like i said it's a thousand blocks it's nearly exactly a thousand blocks actually forward okay i need to go back in here to get um, my powered rails so it's nearly exactly a thousand blocks um well what the that's not my spawn that's quite far from my spawn what, what the oh it's an enderman oh i honestly thought because the block behind was behind him i honestly thought from this angle Without looking at the eyes, oh my god, that it was a two-block high thing. Ah, 
that was scary. Okay. Uh, do I recognize where I am? I think I did explore around here a little bit. Check in. Okay. Okay. Well, this is unexpected. It's night time as well. Um, luckily I have a compass. I just realized I brought my compass along. So my home should be in this direction. That is kind of inconvenient that the portal is quite far from my home. Actually, why is it there? Because in all like the videos, that portal in the roof of the should end up in the same place where your actual portal is in your house. Um, and what's even weirder is that I made another portal in the village which is like over double that distance away. And that nether portal in the village took me and then I went to the nether. But then that nether portal in the nether... Wait. That nether portal in the village took me to the same nether portal as my house in the nether. And then, you know, you know what, I just don't understand nether portals. There's too many. Too much stuff to think about. Okay. Well, let me just uh, close my door. It's night time soon anyway. So, what I want, obviously, is to clear up my inventory a little bit. Um, I'm really, really happy that that worked out. I need to sort out this stuff as well. But like I said, I am incredibly happy that it worked out. And now I just need to build my train track. So, of course, I'm going to stay, you're going to stay with me for this one. Just because that is literally the last step. And it'll be really cool if that works out as well. And then I can get another portal right in the jungle. But if not, never mind. It was an experience anyway. Uh, let me just do this. Okay, let me go back into my nether portal. So it might actually be easier if I go down the ladder. Um, before going into my actual nether portal. No spider. Do you want to join me as well, spider? Oh boy. What, you broke? Okay, well. That is awkward, isn't it, spider? Yeah? You, oh, you and the skeleton. Yeah, die, 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 die. Oh, come on. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ah! Goodness sake, man. What is that? Die. Like, there's no need to be like that. Okay. My apologies, that was, uh, they didn't, wasn't the plan. Okay. So, as you can see, we now have a nice ladder all the way to where I need to be. And, like I said, I am actually astounded that it worked. Not because like, I, the t technique didn't work, but just because I actually did something right the first time for once. Which is amazing. Um, great feeling. Now, what is great is also having a nice quick transportation system. Now, of course, it's not only to the nether. Uh, wait, it's not only to the jungle, but also to other places as well. So what I might do, I might find a stronghold. And then instead of like making another portal, then having to first round the nether. Just quite easily. Oh. Oh. Quite easily just... Uh, Working out the coordinates and working out where I need to go, and then going from there. So, what I usually do is I break this into stacks. So, because apparently the wiki says, the wiki is always right, remember, that the optimum, uh, what's it called, normal track to power track rail thing is 1 to 37. Now, I'm not going to do 1 to 37 just because uh, 1 to 32 is quite easy to work out. Um, with stacks now I will need for 200 blocks I will need them to do the maths 4 8 7 I need 7 of these so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so good I have enough and let me just uh, put down my railway okay so I'll see you uh, when I finish okay this. so I am uh, now around about where hopefully the jungle should be now it should be north so let's uh, build another portal to find out. A one and two. Nope. Two. Now, of course, I'll be really annoyed if it doesn't actually work out. But hey ho, it's all nice experimenting, and I'm pretty sure I end up will be equally as exciting anyway. So one, two, another rack. And building this was far, far simpler than building actually below in the nether. That's why I wanted to get into the rooftop. Okay, nether portal, where are we going to go? Ooh. 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 Okay, well, it's obviously loading terrain because these chunks haven't been loaded yet. Yeah. Come on, son. 
<laughs> right in the jungle. And s well, it's actually a small jungle. But bamboo. I need bamboo. Now, kind of awkwardly, it did place me right on top of a uh, jungle tree. Which hopefully the vines ooh, should uh, give me easy access. Oh dear. Okay, these should grow anyway. Do I have shears with me? No. Okay, well, I'll make my way up here anyway. Well, that's great. It did actually work. Like, it fully works. I have melons, which is like the worst food supply in the game. Let me just look at the coordinates. 423 minus 2000. So that is a long way away. Something else I also wanted was uh, parrots. Um, so I'm going to get some cocoa beans, because I think they can be tamed with cocoa beans. Again, like... Cocoa, cocoa farms like one of the most useless farms and of course this is this will open up a new area for me to adventure around and uh, find out new things let me get that bamboo first so let me try and find a parrot as well bamboo and all I need is like one or two and then I can make a bamboo farm which to be honest I think I will uh, try and make anyway I can make scaffolding now this is amazing like Scaffolding was something that I really wanted to make um, all those uh, while ago. Okay. I would have made making that uh, iron farm far easier. Now, I think I th will try and make a more efficient, or as in an iron farm that actually works. Okay, there's a tree within the. Wait, it's actually like the tallest tree around. That's quite cool. Um, but yeah, so what I want to find are when I'm here in the jungle parrots, I found loads of bamboo so now what I want is parrots because a pet parrot is one of the nicer things to have where are you parrot? which biome is this? is this jungle hills? jungle hills now jungle hills are one of like the rarer jungle biomes or I might be just imagining that oh come on man where is the parrot? now if necessary I can always just build up and find out where the nether portal is because it's on top of a large tree. Okay, one second, this is a huge jungle biome. Come on. Cool, okay, I eventually got there. No parrot. 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 Oh, there's pumpkins there. Again, something I don't really need. Okay, well, you know what? Seems that parrots don't want to come out and play now, but I'll find one later anyway. Let me just get some more bamboo. Because, <laughs> like, scaffolding, as, like, a scaffolding block, obviously, scaffolding is so useful for making high builds. It's incredibly useful. Now, uh, I think it's time for me to go back. Obviously, uh, it's also good that the... Uh, oh, a parrot! Oh, my God. Come here, parrot, parrot, parrot. Come on, parrot. Oh, two parrots, aha. All the fun. Ah, the cocoa beans don't work. That is silly. So, so silly. It makes sense though, because otherwise it would be just like kind of too easy, you know. Okay, parrot. Okay. Gonna be like that then. Uh let me see. Let me look at the coordinates. Three eight uh, three five eight minus two thousand. Okay, so 360 minus 2000. Let me find those watermelon or pumpkin or anything. In fact, there was watermelon close to the my tree with the thing, with the nether portal. Right, where's that? Oh dear. It's around here, wasn't it? Oh yeah, watermelon. Good, good, good. So it seems watermelon is useful after all. Now I think these work. If not, that's a shame. Okay, well, there's loads of force men though. So, uh, I should be good on that front. Just for getting those parrots. Okay. Cool, 28 seeds. That should be good. Now, let me find those parrots again. Parrot. Ah, I heard something. Ah, oh, parrot. Where's your, where's your friend, parrot? Hey, where's your friend, parrot? Oh, this is hello, parrot. 
Nope. There we go. Okay. Okay. And if you walk over them. Hey. Look at that. That's nice. Hey. Okay. So. Okay. I'm not going to end the episode just yet. I just want to prove to myself and to you that um, the nether portal system actually does work. So if I just go up here. Now, can I break vines with the... Okay. That is awkward. Um, well, I suppose we'll have to do this, won't we? At least we'll mark it quite clearly. Like, what other tree has nether, uh, nether rack going on the side of it? <laughs> okay. Go up there. No! Okay, you know, I need to break this piece of tree. It's taking forever. Come on. Chop, chop. Cool, I don't want you anyway. Ah, oh, this is the wrong side. See, this is so inconvenient. That's why I don't like jungle trees. They have to be difficult. And I bet you this isn't even the one with the nether portal. I can't even hear the nether portal. No, it's not. Where is it? It's there. All the way over there. Are you serious? What? <sighs> hey! Now there'll be two trees with another rack from their sides. Actually, you know what? I might just... Uh, whoa. That is a leap. Nah. I don't fancy dying here today, bro. Okay. That is a leap and a half. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'll be more exciting this time. There we go. And now I can hear the other portal. Finally. That's my way home. Yep. Yep. Nope. Oh, yay, yay. Hello, parrot. Okay. Now, apparently there are also desert uh, jungle temples around here as well. But I will explore those at a later date. Just because... Uh, this episode, I think, is getting quite long. Back into the nether portal. And hopefully this will spawn me on the top. No. Whoa. That is just mean. How? 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 Why am I just, like, really far away? That is ridiculous. Um, I actually have, n like, no idea why it's just that. Will I have to make my actual way back home? There's 2,000 blocks. No way. Okay. Well, what I might do at a later date is um, break the bedrock at the top here. What's, is that just a screen tier? Or, yeah, that's a screen tier. Or something along those lines. Is that ghast? Imagine if I was stuck here as well. I think I do have enough. Mm, yeah, I do. Okay, well. That is actually a disappointing way to end the episode. I have little food. And it's night time. I need to find my way back across the whole thing. I don't even have a boat. I'm going to probably have to make one. Okay, this is this is bad. This is so bad. Okay. Well, meanwhile, we can talk about my plans for the later episodes. So, uh, let me get this out. Okay. So, essentially, what I want to do is a monster farm so that's just basically a farm really high up in the sky where the monsters spawn in if you afk there you spawn monsters right to your doorstep and then oh sorry and then you can kill them and uh, you can get experience and stuff from them so that's quite cool i also want to build a proper iron farm um like i said i have that bamboo so i should be able to make it easier uh, more easily Although, of course, transporting the villagers will be more difficult. I might just transport villagers from my village because they seem quite keen to uh, reproduce and then I can just have loads of villagers. Anyway, I also want to fix up my village a little bit. So, essentially, um, the villagers keep dropping down areas and I think I have a sneaky suspicion that some of them have died already just from dropping down and being dumb. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you know, I'm just going to ignore you. Are my parrots following me? Okay. 
Why aren't they following me? It's also something I've had with this world where my parrots just refuse, to, like not only parrots but like animals, tamed animals in general, just refuse to follow me. So I've tamed those of cats before and those of dogs. Nope, they won't follow me. Okay, and so I've just lost them, which is a shame. But hey, okay. So yeah, like I said, I want to fix up the village, and uh, basically. As I was saying before, I was mining some gold, I should get a few more mushrooms, spider eyes, etc. And I want virtually every villager to be turned into a zombie villager and then back again. And now and that means I need to have like a system for doing this, etc, etc. So it's not going to be easy, of course, but um, it should be doable. Okay. Now hopefully if I just keep running, they will ignore me. Run all the way to... Wait, I don't have a saddle. Oh, I could have got a horse. Yeah, so I need to do that, fix up the village, because um, there are some very useful uh, um, trades that if I just make them as efficient. Ah, he helped me on my way, thank you. Creeper. Boom, okay, he didn't help me. Um, so, okay, if I, make, if I can make a few trades more efficient, then I can get, um, you know, richer quicker. And there are other builds I want to make as well, just generally stuff as farming farming so there's like for example the bamboo farm that would be nice so I don't have to do all this whole journey again which is ridiculous I might actually check whether it's a glitch or not because it shouldn't be but then again I think the other portals in the roof might be a bit faded out I'm not too sure but either way if I want to go to the jungle I don't need to go for I just need to return on land okay whoa that's that an outpost that's quite cool. Now, do I want to read the outpost? I think I do. Whoa, okay. Let me watch myself first. Because the last thing I want to do is die. So I'm going to put my coordinates up on the screen. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Actually, I, I, I've changed my mind. I don't, I don't want to do this. Uh, no, 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 no. Kill the creeper instead. Ouch! Oh, come on, bro. Oh, wolves. Do I have bones? No, okay. My oh, pigs. Okay. Well, this is useful to know. Is that a chest? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Ouch. You lot are so mean. I'm just making my way back. Ah, oh, now it's raining. Just my luck. What is it? What is that sound? Oh, so, spider. No, I heard something else. Anyway. So I'm pretty sure my world is slightly glitched right now. It's because of all the um, uh, nether fort uh, portal thing. Ouch! Idiot. Just don't hit me. Why does it have to be so difficult? It's like, let me go. Okay. So nether portal glitching. The animals I've tamed just not following me. So, like I said before in my exploration, I found, oh, a dog. I might as well tame that. I tame it. You know, like, okay, follow me. I run. I look back. It's not there. I'm pretty sure it wasn't sitting. I'm pretty sure those parrots weren't sitting either. Uh, so, I don't know. Uh, I have absolutely no idea what's happening. What's this? Okay, I thought it was just like a tunnel. Okay. So, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut to when I finally arrive. Okay, so I found my old nether portal after a very, very long time just to walking uh yeah that is great now i'm really annoyed at the nether portal as in the trick didn't work properly now i have no clue nor I see why that is and i honestly think it would work and uh, as you probably hear i am disappointed that my amazing master plan failed right at the end right at the end and like anyway i least got an episode after this so as we approach just like thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed. Um, obviously, you know, hopefully we have a few more episodes out soon. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Let me just look at the villages first, because that was like another one of our big projects. Are they all happy? Oh, two iron golems. Whoa. How does that work? Because they need to, I think, what they need to do is they need to see, like, a zombie threat. 
and then they need to be a fair while away from the actual uh, like the zone. I can't. They have to not detect an iron zone, an iron golem in the nearby vicinity. Now, one second. Well, my other villagers. What the hell? Right. Somehow, the villagers are dying. And honestly, don't know why. Now, I don't think there are any spawn points in here. But then again, the fact that there's iron golems around is kind of an indication that they do see something as a threat, i.e. zombies. Or pillagers, but I don't think pillagers naturally spawn around here, unless the player is here. Okay. Sorry, uh, this is delayed. I'm delaying the end of the episode. So, I mean, could they spawn up here, the zombies, potentially? Let me put down torches anyway. So obviously, that's the last thing I want. My village to run out. I need to get more villages, and we all know how fun that is. Okay, well, thank you for watching anyway. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Ow! Hope you enjoyed this episode, and hope you see you soon. Goodbye. Actually, also, can I just give the farmer melon season, and we'll be able to just plant melons for me? Yeah? No? Take. Okay, well, I suppose not. Okay. Wait, he did take. No, he didn't take. Alright, well, see you soon, and goodbye.